I'm Chewy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make tandoori chicken drumsticks. These are spicy, tasty, handheld face hole fillers. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Well, I'm sure you already know we're gonna need some chicken drumsticks for this recipe, and the great people out at Gippsland Premium Meats helped me out with these drummies. Now, you can use chicken thighs if you have something against drumsticks. To prep the drumsticks for the marinade. You shouldn't be dealing with sharp knives. That was aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> To prep the drumsticks for the marinade, grab a sharp knife and just slice each drumstick a couple of times. And this just allows the marinade to penetrate further into the flesh. I'm not even gonna make a joke about penetrating the chicken. <laughs> to make up the tandoori marinade is pretty easy. Into a large bowl, add some plain yogurt and some other stuff. Mix that up and add the chicken. <laughs> make sure all the chicken's coated and then we're just going to throw that in the fridge for a couple of hours. The full list of ingredients are listed in the description of the video, like all of my recipes. Duh. Today, I'm going to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle, and I'm going to be pairing it up with a kettle cone. Why? Because I want to be cooking at temps of 240 degrees Celsius and above today. And how I'll do that is by three quarter filling a chimney starter with briquettes. I'll light them up, and once they're fully ashed over, I'll grab my kettle cone. I'll place it in the middle of the charcoal grate and I'm going to dump the lit fuel in there. And then throw the grill on and put the lid on, opening all the vents and we're going to allow that to warm up for 10 minutes. Now if you don't own a kettle cone or a vortex, you can use two charcoal baskets pushed together in the centre of the charcoal grate. You are going to need a full chimney of briquettes though to get the same level of heat. The grill is nice and hot so we can get the drumsticks on the heat. So just put them on the outside of the grill because this is where that high heat from the kettle cone is being forced. And just pop the lid on and we're gonna let them cook for 45 minutes. This would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, hit that bell button. Why? I say it every week, just go and do it. Today, I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 240 degrees Celsius and above today. These tandoori drumsticks are only gonna take 45 minutes to be cooked to 74 degrees Celsius internally. Or, if you like using my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Two beers at once or one after the other. That's your call. If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot as the cold oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vent over... If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot as the oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vent over the charcoal, over our food and out that lid vent. So, to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 15 minutes during the cook. Or don't turn the lid and overcook some of your chicken. That's your call. Time's up. Time to get the chicken off the heat. And I suggest using tongs for this task, mainly because the chicken is hot and you'll burn your fingers. How good does that look? Tandoori chicken. Yum. Quick, easy, and as always, so tasty. These are seriously that good. They should be illegal. Mmm. As always, cheers for watching.